If you're using Airtable to store your images, or files as attachments, you might have run into this issue recently, with expiring URLs for your assets, making them hard to use in your apps. This has been discussed in many Airtable communities recently, where the links to images and files used in third-party app builders and tools were broken, making them hard to use outside of Airtable, especially if you want to use them in your no-code app builders. So, how do you solve this problem? The best way to do this is with a scalable platform like Google Cloud Storage that is built in CDN, which makes your assets highly performant across different regions globally and making them ready to use in your apps in a scalable way with speed and efficiency. Today, we are going to show you how you can do this easily on Rui, a platform that allows you to unlock the power of Google Cloud to manage all your assets from files to images of any extension type but with the same simplicity of Spreadsheet's UI with drag and drop convenience that Airtable, like no code platform, provides. Okay, let's see how you can do this step by step. First, create a table on Rowie and give it a name. Let's call it Import Airtable Test. You can optionally change the display name, description, and so on. Let's just go ahead and click Create. Okay, this is a blank table. You can start by adding your columns one by one. Or, if you just want to clone your existing Airtable and bring that to Rowie, you can do that very easily using this import feature. Select Add Table option for import and bring your API key and the table URL. You can get the API key by following to the documentation here. Then, copy the Airtable of the actual table that you want to be cloned. Okay, so now you can see all the fields in your Airtable listed here. So, if I go back here, you have a headline section, subheading, and so on. As you can see, the same are available here. Let's just input all the fields. You optionally also have the ability to pick if you want to use the ID that was generated by a table or use generated ones by the week. Let's leave it as the add table record ID because that way we can import and re-import anytime we want. By searching and updating, or inserting if it does not exist. Alright, so, as you can see, all of these are mapped to new columns that do not exist right now. And let's click continue. Now, for each of these columns, you can select the column type and ensure that it's mapped as you would like. So, link in the URL, social post, or multi-select fields. Header image here is mapped to adjacent because the imported data is coming as a URL. We now have a new feature that lets you import images and files from Airtable as images and files rather than JSON. This means the data from it's downloaded and uploaded to Firebase Storage. And this way, you can immediately get access to a very powerful storage system back on Google Cloud Storage, which has the ability to deliver it across regions with space and efficiency. Great, let's check all the rest of the fields. They all look good. So that said, Let's go ahead and click continue. You can see here the preview of the data that shows up. We can go back and remove certain fields that if we do not want them, for example, if I don't care about the date fields here, I can remove them. And as you can see, it's all updated and shows real time. Okay, so now this data looks good. Let's go ahead and click finish. As you can see, all this data is immediately uploaded and available for use on Rowie table. So, you have migrated successfully from Airtable to Rowie. What does this actually mean? Well, a couple of great advantages here. First, these image files you see here, as you can see from this URL, are uploaded to Google Cloud Storage. That means you have all the power that comes with it, including a built-in CDN. What it means is you can use these images and files in your apps with high speed and performance as they are globally distributed. It also is cost-efficient and scalable instead of using the hosted images URL from Airtable directly. Another good thing is that the data you see on the Rowie table is actually available on Firebase database and changes are reflected real-time. This is a real database with SDKs and APIs that you can use in your apps for getting the data from these tables. Be it a no-code app, or a full-fledged front-end app built with any framework like Next.js or React, or any framework supported by Firebase, which is a lot. Also, this table behaves exactly like an Airtable, so that means you can invite your team members with granular access control with read and write ability at table and column level. So there you go. 
You have successfully migrated from Airtable to Rowy on a powerful database with the ability to host and manage your image files and collaborate with your team. Hope you enjoyed this. Leave a comment below or subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more of such videos.